Today, billions of people around the world are summoned to a place where they are forced to kill. A place where demons and monsters roam everywhere, the darkness of death lurking like a shadow. Slain in decisions, struggling and rising amidst the darkness. Will our MC this time be able to go against all odds and reach the peak of the world? In a city in the Blue Star Dragon Country. Initially, the day was so bright, the sunlight piercing through the clouds creating a warm atmosphere on a sunny day. Qin Feng was casually walking on the sidewalk when some people began to notice something descending from the sky, making the sky turn dark. They then wondered what was happening. Why did everything suddenly change to dark? A girl pointed to the sky, making everyone, including Qin Feng, who was confused earlier, look at it. They were all shocked to see the dreadful scene in front of them. People began to panic, some associating it with aliens, the end of the world, or doomsday. People started running and scattering everywhere. Especially when something strange came out of the sky, they became even more panicked. After that, something came out and descended from the sky. Then a system board appeared in front of everyone, including Qin Feng. Seeing that, Qin Feng wondered if what was in front of him was virtual imaging technology and not reality. However, after thinking about it again, which country or organization in Blue Star could have such technology? When people touched the system board, some lines of text appeared on it. People's expressions began to change, some were confused, scared, and even happy to see it. The system board read, a world full of murder is about to open. Healthy individuals aged between 20 to 50 will come to the world simultaneously. This world is where giant beasts roam, demons are everywhere, and all races coexist. This place is full of death and crisis, but also full of resources and opportunities, where one can die at any time or live forever. Then a very bright light descended across the city, illuminating everyone and locking them within that light. They became more confused and scared, unable to do anything anymore. There was even a mother who could only cry hysterically as she was separated from her daughter through that beam of light. Qin Feng himself still didn't know what was happening and thought perhaps it was the work of aliens. But suddenly his body seemed to be sucked in by the light and then disappeared just like that. The system board said this event was the only chance for redemption for Blue Star. Finally, an announcement appeared saying congratulations, because everyone had arrived at beginner village number 911. Each beginner village starts with 1000 people. Qin Feng landed from the sky, falling into one of the wooden houses in the village. Of course, this young man panicked for a moment because he didn't know what to do. After everything settled, he arrived at a place where he checked his system board to see what he had. Qin Feng could see that the information board had complete data about him, from name and age to the abilities he possessed all there. He could also see his level. Then Qin Feng went to the public conversation channel to see what people were saying after entering this different world. Everyone, including other beginner villages, could communicate through that conversation channel. After Qin Feng pressed the button on the hologram screen, many people in the chat room were still confused about the recent events that had befallen them. Some felt they were abducted by aliens, asking for help from anyone and hoping the government would help them. Others thought they were abducted by aliens and made for experiments, while some were overthinking to the point they were convinced that this was like what they read in fantasy novels, and they didn't know who the protagonist among them was. After seeing people's complaints, they also chatted with each other, while knowing their four-dimensional indexes, which are related to what powers and skills they possess. Qin Feng began to understand that apparently, fighting strength is related to the four-dimensional index ability. So by improving that, fighting strength can be increased. And the likelihood of survival can increase by one point. Now most people are at position one star, and some have reached the limit of one star. From the data they disclosed, it appears that the average four-dimensional index value for ordinary people is 10 points. Meanwhile, Qin Feng realized that his physical strength did not reach 10 points, perhaps because of his skinny body, so his value was slightly lower. Qin Feng could also see from the data mentioned by people that the highest energy index was 13 points, which is less than half a point. Although he didn't know what the energy index was for, it might be advantageous for him. Then Qin Feng saw something about unique talents. The system indicated that talents are divided into nine levels, F, E, D, C, B, A, S, 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 and triple S. With F being the weakest and SSS the highest. And talents above the SS level are unique. After people knew about this, they became restless and even confused about the unique talents mentioned, including the determined levels. However, the system gave them the option if Qin Feng would awaken his unique talent. Of course, Qin Feng pressed the yes button to agree. After pressing that button, Qin Feng entered a strange world where many blue-colored balls were floating in all directions. 
From Qin Feng's experience of reading fantasy novels, these balls are probably part of talent awakening. Afterward, the balls floated here and there, approaching Qin Feng's body, and then one of them collided with Qin Feng's body. Finally, one by one, the balls began to crash into his body and entered Qin Feng's body just like that. After the balls entered his body, Qin Feng felt his power multiplied many times over. Shortly after, there was a notification from the system saying that his talent had awakened and his level was now SSS Endless Extraction. Qin Feng looked very surprised to receive an SSS class talent. Then the system informed again that the special skill Qin Feng obtained was Endless Extraction. This means extraction can be launched on all targets to get unexpected results, and this skill has no limit. Qin Feng was truly astonished, almost disbelieving his talent. He had acquired a unique SSS level talent, yielding unforeseen outcomes. Although the explanation was too ambiguous, it seemed he had to find opportunities to experiment to understand its effects more clearly. Afterward, the system notified again that the beginner village had awakened talents with details of 787 F-level awakeners, 194 E-level awakeners, and 2 C-level awakeners. People in the chat room began to stir because of this notification, as they had already reached their levels and also possessed their respective talents. However, Qin Feng couldn't believe it because the majority of people awaken talents at F and E levels, and those who awaken talents at D level were less than 2% of the total population of the beginner village. Thus, SSS level talents were extremely rare. Two people in the village had awakened talents at C rank besides Qin Feng and another person he didn't know. This young man wondered what rank the individuals with C rank talents were at and if they would be at the SSS level like him. It turned out that not only Qin Feng was curious about who obtained the C rank, but also everyone in the chat room immediately asked the person with the C class to reveal themselves. One of the individuals who obtained the C class was Lu Xian. His figure immediately became the talk of the town, with many people praising and cheering for him. Seeing the reactions of the people, Qin Feng realized that C class talents were highly sought after. If he were to expose his excessive SS talent, Qin Feng worried he would not only receive praise and applause but also various problems. Moreover, in that bloodthirsty world full of slaughter, an SSS level innate ability was Qin Feng's greatest support and trump card, which shouldn't be easily exposed. Afterward, the system notified that from now on, everyone could leave the wooden cabin and enter the beginner village. After 10 seconds, the beginner test would begin. Those who didn't meet the standard would be eliminated on the spot. The system announced that the method to level up was to kill all kinds of fierce beasts, demons, and monsters, and gain energy to level up. Initial weapons had been provided, and everyone was welcome to check those weapons. Qin Feng then pulled out a sword from the hologram panel with amazement. To him, the god panel wasn't just an entity, but it had tangible objects that could be taken, and it felt quite magical. He then picked up a beginner sword, a plus two attack power rusty sword, the equipment of every beginner, a zero rank equipment. The system also notified that the attack power would change according to the attribute power, with one attribute power increasing one attack. Qin Feng carefully inspected the sword in his hand. Afterward, he wanted to try the sword, so he swung it, realizing that the beginner sword could easily kill a cow with its power, making him unsure if the attack power of the sword was only at plus 2. If the sword could be continuously upgraded, 10, 20, 30, and so on, then the power of the sword would be unimaginable. Then Qin Feng began to think about how to increase the power of the sword. Afterward, Qin Feng tried to use his talent on the sword. He then used his limitless extraction talent. With that, the sword began to be coated with the energy of his talent power, then Qin Feng tried to swing the sword again into the air. The system notified that Qin Feng succeeded in extracting it. Qin Feng had successfully removed the rust and residue from the sword, thus upgrading it to a beautiful steel sword. The sword now had an attack power of plus 5 and was at rank 1. Qin Feng considered it extraordinary, he used his talent power and rose from rank 0 to rank 1. The attack power of the sword also increased to 5. It was very exciting for Qin Feng. He even smiled satisfactorily feeling the difference in the sword. Qin Feng then wanted to try again using his talent power on the sword. So Qin Feng lifted the sword, then coated it with his talent energy, but suddenly the energy disappeared just like that. The system appeared to notify that the extraction had failed. Because the quality of the target was too low, so Qin Feng had reached his extraction limit. Qin Feng finally realized that extraction also had its limits. Qin Feng thought if he could perform unlimited extraction and further enhance his abilities, wouldn't that be a bug? Then Qin Feng swung the sword towards the wall just like that, and he was sure that his weapon was better than others. 
Shortly after, he heard the voices of people starting to come out of the wooden cabin, they were streaming out of the cabin, and once outside, they were chatting with each other. Qin Feng decided to go and see the outside world confidently. In this beginner village 9-11, all houses were made of wood and surrounded by towering mountains. Above the village, there were several flying monsters without the intention to disturb the villagers. People who had just come out of the wooden house started communicating with each other and chatting. They also discussed the fact that if they didn't reach level 10, then they would be killed. For them, it was very terrifying. They realized that they were forced to go and kill monsters, especially since the beginner test only had a limit of 7 days. Most of them didn't know what they should do. They all didn't want to die in that place. They were afraid, and they didn't want to die. But they knew they couldn't return to Blue Star just by feeling scared and crying like that. Afterward, people started to be curious about each other's abilities and talents. Then they began asking each other about their ranks, levels, and also the abilities they had, including talents. Everyone, including Qin Feng, gathered outside. They didn't know what they should do there, they were also unsure of how strong the fierce beasts outside were, unsure of what they could do. Then they tried to find out who was willing to help explore and form an alliance to hunt monsters. Looking at the gate in front of him, Qin Feng began to think if it was supposed to be the entrance gate of the beginner village, but after walking out of that dimensional gate, it would turn into a world of bloody slaughter. And the question now was who would be the first person to go, to enter that gate. Not long after, there was an explosion from behind the people, they started to panic and wondered what that sound was. Was it a bomb or a beast? However, it turned out to be Wang Chang, he was a boundary fighter. People who saw him began to shout and say how strong he was. And some others asked about his awakening talent. Wang Chang answered that if he had the rank D talent of the berserker power when he used his talent, his ability tripled. Qin Feng, hearing this, began to remember that Wang Chang said his power was 18. After using his talent, it became 54. It's no wonder he could destroy rocks with just one strike. With such a powerful attack, he could rank in the top 10 in village 991. People started to praise Wang Chang and say how strong he was, also remembering that his talent was an extraordinary strength enhancement. Hearing all the praise made Wang Chang feel proud and more confident. He then thought that all his sweat and hard work and training had finally paid off, in this world of killing, he had reached the pinnacle of his life. Then some people started asking where Lu Xian, the owner of the C-rank talent, was. They were curious about how strong that person was. Wang Chang then said that he would leave the village first and help everyone see how strong the fierce beasts behind that gate were. Without much further thought, Wang Chang immediately entered the portal leading out of the village. Qin Feng thought that Wang Chang might be strong enough but looked foolish at that moment unless he was sure never to be the first to enter the portal unprepared or without a companion. Upon entering the portal, Wang Chang found himself in the forest now, muttering about a person named Lu Xian who had a C rank. He would prove to everyone that he would defeat those fierce beasts and surely become the boss later. Suddenly Wang Chang realized something swiftly passing behind him, he was very sure. He then began to wonder if it was a beast. Not long after, a fierce beast appeared, shaped like a rabbit but looked very fierce and large. Shortly after, the system announced that newbie Wang Chang was killed by a level 1 fierce beast, Bloodfang Rabbit. The system warned that the combat ability of a level 1 fierce beast was rated 3 stars, the combat ability of a level 2 fierce beast was rated 4 stars, the combat ability of a level 3 fierce beast was rated 5 stars, and so on. Wang Chang's death made everyone start to panic because even the strongest person with AD rank could easily die, let alone them. They began to feel confused and didn't know what to do. The system warned that combat abilities were rated based on 4 attributes, but talent was not included. The protective shield of the beginner village could hold back the fierce beasts from entering, but after the beginner protection period ended, all those monsters could enter. Qin Feng, upon hearing this, began to think that if Wang Chang was killed by the weakest level 1 fierce monster just 5 minutes after he left, the difficulty of surviving in this world would be harder than he imagined. To prevent people from hiding in the beginner village, they gave a reminder that the protective shield would be removed. So, after so many notifications, it was unlikely that the test was designed so that people couldn't pass, according to Qin Feng, there must be a way. If the combat ability of monsters was 3 stars when encountering humans and 4 stars, who would win in the end? One person said they couldn't stay there and wait to die. They had to kill monsters and level up, otherwise, death awaited them. Others said that they were still young, and they didn't want to die there. Then they thought of cooperating. According to them, the more members they had, the stronger they would be. Cooperation was their strength, 
they could defeat those monsters and complete the mission as quickly as possible. Anyone willing to cooperate had to show their attributes and talent abilities, it was meant to help them cooperate better. Everyone then formed their groups based on their ranks and abilities. Then someone approached Qin Feng, saying that they saw Qin Feng alone and intended to invite Qin Feng to join their team. However, Qin Feng quickly and casually refused the offer. He thought that cooperation might be the best way, but it didn't suit him. He had to hide his talent abilities before he became stronger. It had been over 15 minutes since the last team entered, it was almost time, and now he had to enter the portal too. Qin Feng had already left the beginner's village, finding himself in the forest at that moment. He navigated through the woods while surveying his surroundings. Qin Feng felt a slightly eerie sensation as he traversed the forest as if a dinosaur might leap out directly in front of him. He then caught a whiff of an unpleasant odor in the air, a disgusting smell akin to blood. As he continued walking, Qin Feng spotted the body of Wang Chang lying on the ground, blood and saliva trickling from his mouth. Qin Feng knew that Wang Chang had died due to his rash personality. Ultimately, it was because he suddenly appeared in the world to kill. After seeing Wang Chang's corpse, this young man finally realized that he could die at any moment. To survive, he needed to be vigilant and remain strong. Thinking about strength, Qin Feng remembered something he had pondered on his own. If what he thought was correct, he needed to see something and make sure. Qin Feng began to touch Wang Chang's body and used his talent to extract it, and it worked. Qin Feng easily acquired a rank D talent of berserk power. Qin Feng could hardly believe it because he had successfully extracted someone else's talent. Although the system stated that limitless extraction could extract any target, it would have unexpected effects. The berserk power he obtained, a talent of strength, could triple when used. Qin Feng's initial strength of 8 increased to 24 when he used the extraction power. Much stronger than an ordinary adult. It made him realize that this was truly how to use the ability of an SSS rank talent. Qin Feng only needed enough time then he could have hundreds, or even thousands, or tens of thousands of abilities. With all those talents, he could become the strongest in the world. Qin Feng felt that becoming stronger was enjoyable. Then Qin Feng said that Wang Chang was strong, but his speed, defense, and everything was standard, or just ordinary. Especially his rash personality. Under those circumstances, daring to challenge fierce beasts, Wang Chang was truly digging his own grave. Qin Feng took Wang Chang's sword and extracted it using his talent. He felt that for many people, cooperation would help each other, weaknesses would not be so obvious, and perhaps with that, they could survive in the world of killing. However, Qin Feng did not need it. This young man was confident that with endless extraction, he would not have any weaknesses. Then Qin Feng saw the body of the bloodfang rabbit that had been killed, which was the fierce beast that had killed Wang Chang. Qin Feng was sure from its wounds that it seemed the monster had been killed by people after being surrounded. Qin Feng successfully extracted the monster and obtained two power attributes. Although Qin Feng believed he could still extract attribute points. Adding two power attributes, his basic strength was the same as that of an ordinary adult. When he used the berserker power attribute, his strength would become 30. If he extracted that fierce beast, his strength would become like Wang Chang's. Qin Feng asked if he could extract the corpse of that fierce beast repeatedly. However, he suddenly failed to extract it. The system warned that targets level 20 and below could only be extracted once, then would immediately reach their limit. Qin Feng realized that the sword he had just obtained also had extraction limitations. He thought it didn't matter, he just needed to find a new corpse, he could only extract it again. Qin Feng then continued walking, confident that the team would kill enough fierce monsters. If Qin Feng followed their path, he could kill more corpses with more people, making it easier to surround and kill fierce monsters. He might find more corpses on that path. Qin Feng then followed their tracks, there were too many footprints. Suddenly, there was a notification from the system that Li Yu had been killed by a level 1 rodent rat. Qin Feng was shocked to hear this notification. Because he was the second person killed by a monster even though they had worked together as a team. When Qin Feng extracted Wang Chang's corpse earlier, he obtained a talent, but when he extracted the level 1 bloodfang rabbit, he only got power attributes. Humans and fierce beasts were different. Level 1 Fierce Beasts had low levels, didn't have talents, and only had strong bodies, so they could only extract attribute points. If that's the case, he would search for Li Yu's corpse. Perhaps he could obtain another valuable talent that way. Qin Feng then climbed a tree to survey the surroundings because he didn't know which path Team Li Yu had taken, so based on his thoughts. Some people were more likely to have accidents, Team Li Yu might have taken a small path. Qin Feng then observed the surrounding area for any unexpected occurrences. 
The system appeared again and informed that another newbie had been killed by a level 1 rodent rat, named Zhou Zheng. Both of them were killed by the same monster, which meant they might have been killed in the same place too. The danger they faced seemed far more frightening than Qin Feng had thought. Sometimes, even though they were in a group of more than one person, the team couldn't handle it. Qin Feng began to wonder if he should continue. Qin Feng caught a scent and started to descend from the tree. In a world where people needed their lives to survive, once they were weak, they were only prey waiting to be hunted. Helpless and unable to fight back. If Qin Feng wanted to stay alive, he needed to understand that high risks would bring high rewards. After landing on the ground, Qin Feng immediately ran along the roads, passing through dense bushes. He sat down under them for cover, while keeping watch and thinking that it was a dangerous world, he would die if he wasn't careful. The place he was heading to felt very dangerous. And he had to stay alert. Then Qin Feng caught a strong stench of blood coming from somewhere. When he looked from behind the bushes, he could see two bodies lying there, they were Zhou Chang and Li Yu. This young man was sure that rodent rats might be nearby, level 1 fierce beasts with a 3 star fighting rank ability, while Qin Feng was only 1 star, so Qin Feng was no match for that monster. Qin Feng became anxious thinking about that reality. Then Qin Feng saw something that surprised him even more. Qin Feng couldn't believe what he saw, there was a helpless level 1 rodent rat lying amidst its blood. Considering that even a level 1 beast with a 3 star fighting capability could overpower him, who was merely one star at that moment, under normal circumstances, he was no match for such a creature. However, the rodent rat had lost its fangs, and it appeared to be severely injured as well. Qin Feng thought that it might be easier to kill the monster now. Thus, he swung his sword and leaped towards it with caution. Just as he neared the creature, the large rat suddenly sprang back to life and lunged at him, almost striking him with its attack, causing him to release one of his swords. Nevertheless, to Qin Feng, a beast remained a beast without intelligence. He coated his sword with his talent and swiftly thrust it into the monster's body mid-air. The monster died instantly. Qin Feng descended and drove his sword deeper into the creature's body. The rodent rat screamed, prompting Qin Feng to strike its face forcefully until it became completely powerless. Qin Feng realized that his sneak attack had left him severely injured, indicating the danger of underestimating such ferocious beasts. He resolved to be more cautious in the future. After successfully killing the level 1 rodent rat, the system informed him that he gained 30 energy points. The rodent rat's body then vaporized, entering Qin Feng's body, making him feel incredibly warm as if purifying and cleansing his exhausted body. Afterward, Qin Feng observed the information board in the system, which showed that his level had risen from 1, 0 slash 100, to 1, 30 slash 100. For Qin Feng, it wasn't a bad start. He then extracted two agility attributes from the rodent rat's body, increasing his agility to 11 and enhancing his fighting ability once again. Although extracting attributes from a level 1 ferocious beast provided limited benefits, it still made him stronger. Qin Feng was now curious about what he would gain by extracting attributes from a level 2 ferocious beast. Now it was time for Qin Feng to continue his initial journey. He also succeeded in extracting a talent, ranked F, which was a scent enhancement. Although it was the lowest ranked talent, it was one of the six senses, enhancing his sense of smell. The system explained that scent enhancement was a rare talent, magnifying olfactory senses tenfold when activated. Qin Feng knew that this talent might be useless for the weak but beneficial for him, especially in the vast forest where finding corpses was difficult. With his enhanced sense of smell, Qin Feng could detect the scent of ferocious beasts and evade them beforehand. He felt that he had acquired this talent at the perfect time. He then took Zhou Cheng's cloak and placed his sword in it. Qin Feng was confident that since the start of the exam an hour ago, his strength and agility had reached a sufficiently high standard. With the three abilities he had acquired, his fighting ability reached two stars, possibly even close to the limit of two stars. However, since they only had four attributes, it only indicated that his fighting ability was at one star. Qin Feng understood that the ranking of fighting abilities was just a reference and couldn't rely too much on it. Qin Feng intended to continue his journey using his new talent, Scent Enhancement. With his new talent, he could sense his surroundings, discerning even the slightest changes in the air and identifying odors sharply. He smelled the scent of blood, ten times stronger, making him almost nauseous. Qin Feng tried to calm himself, relax, and get accustomed to the sharp scent while distinguishing between different types of smells, fresh earthy scent, fragrant flower scent, and the approach of something ominous. Meanwhile, a group of people working together were chasing a ferocious rodent rat. They were agile, chasing each other, but those with a plan tried to kill the monster until they successfully surrounded and killed it. 
the system announced that they had killed a level 1 ferocious rodent rat, and each of them gained 30 EXP. One of them complained about their misfortune, having to face two ferocious rodent rats, almost leading to their demise. Another mentioned that everyone was injured, and both Li Yu and Zhou Cheng had already died. If it weren't for Ying Ming, who was called the boss, allowing them to retreat, then luring the monster there and finally ambushing and killing it, they would all likely be dead. Someone else urged them not to mention it again and to focus on killing the severely injured ferocious rodent rat as quickly as possible. They didn't want anyone else to kill it, as they would be the ones to benefit. Meanwhile, Qin Feng, who had been observing them, realized that the people they mentioned were probably the ones he had encountered earlier, and the ferocious rodent rat they wanted to kill was the one he had already slain. Qin Feng decided to leave to avoid confrontation with them. Using his talent, Speed Enhance, Qin Feng ran swiftly. While apologizing, he understood that in such a ruthless world, being kind would only cost one's life. Qin Feng resolved to gather all the resources to survive. Later, Qin Feng realized that over the past three hours, everyone had been working hard to kill the ferocious rodent rat. He understood the entire situation in the beginner's grassland. The beginner's grassland housed five types of level 1 ferocious beasts, ferocious rodent rat, ferocious bloodfang rabbit, ferocious grassland gray wolf, berserk wild boar, and poisonous red snake. And at that moment, he was observing the berserk wild boar he had already extracted. However, it turned out the extraction limit failed because it had reached its maximum, he had already extracted the same type of ferocious beast level 1 three times. Qin Feng was initially surprised by this, but then he understood, and eventually, he had to search for the poisonous red snake because the others had already been extracted three times. While extracting other fighters, Qin Feng said that so far, there have been seven death notices announced. But the bodies found were only a few. Unlike beast attributes, human talents are much harder to obtain. Qin Feng successfully extracted the E-rank Visions Enhance. On his system board, his combat ability finally reached 2 stars, it seems now he can challenge a ferocious beast level 1 alone. Then Qin Feng caught a scent that turned out to be from the poisonous red snake, he felt pleased about it. At full speed, he ran towards the monster. However, while running, he caught a scent like there was another smell too. He then started to wonder if it was the smell of a flower or its fruit. Upon reaching the monster, Qin Feng hid behind a tree while observing because the scent came from there, while the one he smelled earlier was from the flower nearby. It seemed like the poisonous red snake was guarding that flower. With a scent like that, and also a ferocious beast guarding it the flower was not an ordinary one. The poisonous red snake is the strongest level 1 ferocious beast in the grassland, the only one providing the mind attribute. And it seemed like it was his lucky day. Qin Feng prepared to take out his sword when the poisonous red snake noticed his presence. Then quickly, the poisonous red snake lunged towards Qin Feng, but he managed to dodge, unfortunately, the tree where Qin Feng was hiding got destroyed because of that attack. However, Qin Feng felt like the snake's speed was significantly slower, he didn't know what happened. Or perhaps, did the snake just eat its prey, and was it going through the digestion process? Was that why its speed slowed down? Qin Feng didn't care about that. Then he started to attack to finish off the poisonous red snake. From above, Qin Feng attempted to attack the snake's body, once he hit it, he found it difficult because the snake's scales were very hard. The poisonous red snake moved its body, then slammed Qin Feng's body hard onto the ground. The poisonous red snake screamed, making Qin Feng cover his ears, he then used his berserk strength talent and stabbed the roof of the snake's mouth with his sword. The snake writhed in pain, but it made it lift the sword and Qin Feng's body into the air, Qin Feng hung between his sword and the snake's teeth. Then, with extraordinary speed, Qin Feng easily chopped the snake's body into several pieces. Now Qin Feng's strength was at 40, now he just needed to kill one more level 1 ferocious beast, then he could level up to level 2. If the poisonous red snake's belly wasn't full and its movements weren't slowed, Qin Feng might not have been able to kill the snake easily. Then he split open the snake's belly to see what was inside. It made him unable to believe that the poisonous red snake had just eaten a human. Qin Feng thought in this cruel world, everyone has the chance to die, the only difference lies in how they die. The strong survive, and the weak perish, that's the rule of this world. Then he approached the eye he had extracted from the poisonous red snake earlier. This was the second time he obtained a talent ranked F, two talents automatically combined. The vision talent had been upgraded to rank E. He gained vision 20 times sharper than before. He had successfully evolved with the Analyze Eye. By activating the skill, he could see details from various angles. After hearing the system notification, Qin Feng said it seemed that if he found more of the same talent, 
there was a chance to develop the talent he had already extracted. Additionally, the chance of awakening talent skills increased. Analyze I was the first skill to successfully evolve. Unexpectedly, the eye analyzed details of the spiritual fruit, similar to advanced scanning devices in movies. With this skill, Qin Feng could discern many unknown things, feeling it would be advantageous in the future when he needed to gather existing resources. Qin Feng looked at the spirit flower he had seen earlier, approached it, and took the fruit on top of it. Shortly after, Qin Feng consumed it, feeling fortunate as he was the only one who could find that fruit. After consuming it, Qin Feng felt his whole body energized. The system said he had consumed the red phyton fruit, granting him eight physical attributes and increasing his poison resistance by plus 100%. Qin Feng said wasn't the fruit equivalent to extracting four bodies of ferocious beasts? The red phyton fruit was excellent, it was a pity there was only one. He also wanted to know if the spirit grass had any other uses. With his eye, he examined the details of the red phyton flower, it was a type of spirit grass capable of absorbing celestial essence energy from the earth to grow. It grew one leaf per year, bore fruit in seven years, called the red phyton fruit, and after harvesting the fruit, its leaves would wither, losing their value after a few days. Knowing this, Qin Feng felt it was strange to discard it, thus, he extracted the flower, obtaining essence from the spirit grass. By consuming it, he could gain two attributes at once. Qin Feng understood something capable of growing the red phyton fruit wouldn't be trash, it was equivalent to the bodies of ferocious beasts. After consuming the poisonous red snake, his combo ability had reached the two-star limit. This surprised Qin Feng, his combo ability reached the two-star limit so quickly. If he added four more skills, he might be able to solo three to four level one ferocious beasts. Qin Feng had decided that after extracting the last poisonous red snakes, he would leave that beginner grassland. He would go to a place with new ferocious beasts and become significantly stronger because he wanted to become the strongest in that world. However, unbeknownst to him, some stones rolled toward him quite forcefully. Qin Feng jumped to avoid the giant stones easily. Qin Feng was sure someone was secretly attacking him. He dodged and climbed up a tree to look around. Initially, Qin Feng thought it was a human, but it turned out to be the scent of a ferocious beast. It was a poisonous red snake, so he wasn't surprised that he never found it before, it was because the blood of the previous snake blocked the scent of other snakes. And the creature came when he needed it. A group of talents attempted to attack the poisonous red snake simultaneously, but they seemed overwhelmed as the snake moved fast, making it difficult for them to attack accurately. They then attacked the monster with all their might. Qin Feng, watching them from a distance, said he didn't expect to meet one of them there. If Qin Feng remembered correctly, one of the people in the group was Lei Ju, a rank D talent with electric control ability. In the 17 beginner villages, Wang Chang had died, leaving only 16 of them, and he was one of them. Before they left, weren't there eight people on their team? But now, only six remained, it seemed they had died. Qin Feng knew Lei Ju was the main attacker, and the other six served as support, thus, the poisonous red snake became weaker, and sooner or later, the creature would die. Qin Feng had never used Analyze Eye on living ferocious beasts before, so he used it to see the details of what was there. Inside the information board, it said there was a possibility the ferocious beast would drop an item, but the chance was very low, the lift was too low. Then Qin Feng saw a bright light coming from the snake, they had killed it. However, some members of Lei Ju's team felt their points weren't balanced, but Lei Ju felt it was fair according to their contributions. Descending from the tree and hearing that, Qin Feng said that was how the team distributed energy, which was good to encourage people to work together. Because one poisonous red snake had 40 points of energy, if divided evenly, each of them wouldn't get much. From a distance, Qin Feng could see Lei Ju's body was bright green, indicating he had leveled up. His team was surprised to learn that. According to them, it was quite extraordinary. That was the first time Qin Feng had seen a level 2 human, and with Analyze Eye, he wanted to know the difference between level 2 and level 1. After seeing that, it turned out Lei Ju's combo ability and his rank D talent should have reached almost 3 stars in combat ability. If Lei Ju soloed against level 1 ferocious beasts, he would have a 50% chance of winning. Although Qin Feng hadn't leveled up to level 2 yet, his combat ability rank was at the 2 star limit, equivalent to 4 stars. This meant he could easily defeat Lei Ju. Meanwhile, one of Lei Ju's team members said they should seek revenge because one of their team members was still inside the snake's stomach. Lei, unaware of this, then asked what happened. The member explained that during their exploration, they encountered two poisonous red snakes. Initially, they weren't their adversaries, so they decided to flee. However, one member was slow, and thus, was eaten by the snake. 
Hearing this, they sought revenge for their member and maintained their formation. Qin Feng, who overheard from a distance, finally knew that the person inside the snake's belly was one of Lei Ju's members. Despite this, the snake they were supposed to encounter had already been killed. One of Lei Ju's team members, an archer, sensed someone behind a tree and shot an arrow, narrowly missing Qin Feng's handsome face. This startled him as he almost got hit by the sharp arrow.